Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to do is in a Twitter review on Enchanted Mall Sleepover Night Owls. Actually, it's kind of dark, so I'll just get a light on. Okay, so now I have a lamp on. Before it was natural light, and this is with my lamp on. So comment down below which lighting you like better, just so that I know how to do the lighting in my videos. So, let's start cutting this open, or getting it out of the box. I'm always bad at doing, or I'm always bad at getting, like, this kind of stuff out of the boxes. <laughs> I have a trusty pair of scissors to help. I always have to be careful by the um, hair when I'm cutting <coughs> the rubber bands, because if I'm not, because if you're if you're not careful by the hair, you could end up cutting the hair. So I don't use scissors when it comes to going by the hair. So I have the little dolly out. Now I need to get um, the two owls, the chair, and the other accessories out, so let's just do that. There's the little, I call this a chair, but since they're night owls, it looks like a um, nest and it looks like their bed, so that's what that is. And then I will get the little sleep masks out. So there's a blue one and a pink one, at, and I think the blue one is for the doll, and then the pink one is for one of the owls. But one of the owls is smaller, so it might be for a certain owl. Speaking about the owls now, I'm going to get them out. Here is the bigger owl. That's blue. And then this one comes with a, um, a little sleeping hat. And you could just put that on. And... Now we could cut out the smaller owl. This is the white owl. It's a little smaller. I like their purple hair at the top. It's super, like, soft and fuzzy, and it's really cute. Okay, now we are going to cut out the last ac accessories, which are a plate of cookies. And three little bottles of milk. These are all connected, which is which is a good thing because if they weren't connected, I would probably lose them. So I'm just going to take this and put this to the side because I don't know if it's going to fit in my garbage. For showing you guys the toys, I'm going to move you down a little bit and then back up. There, so I... I'll move this back here, and I'll move my scissors, and then I'll gather up all the toys. I got this for Christmas, and I still have, like, a bunch of Christmas presents. I got so much Christmas presents that there are still some that I have that I didn't even open. So I thought, why don't I film a video about this? So, the doll's hair is really soft, and... The um, hat, it has two little things you could cut to get off, so I'll cut them. 
so you could keep the hat connected to the to the hair or you could have it separated from the hair so that's a cool did, did I just say that's a cool I meant to say that's a cool part or that's cool like either one It's kind of hard to cut, so I think I'll just keep it on for now. Okay, we'll just move this to the side, and maybe we'll cut it a little bit later. And then here's the nest. Milk and cookies. And the sleep nest. The little owl's hat but it actually doesn't fit on the owl because of the ears and like the ears can't even keep it on so. I don't know what you would use this for because there's no one else in the set and then here are the little sweet masks Hmm. I think I'm going to try to figure out a way to get this hat off because it'll be cuter with the sleep mask if the hat is off. So I'll be right back once I have this little sleeping hat off. Okay, so I got the hat off, but I needed some help. So who, whatever the company was that made this, I wish they made it just a little bit easier to get the hat off of the doll oh I just realized that she is like a little coat that is like the fur that is the hair of the owls that's really cute and there's like a little it's like a rubber band back here so you can get it off That's cool. And she's wearing little slippers. Now with the hat off, see, you could still put the hat on. She's not secure to her head. Then we could put... <clears throat> Sorry about my voice right now, you guys. It's early in the morning. Now you could put the sleep mask on. But I want to see which owl the um pink sleep mask mask fits. See, it seems to be kind of tight on this, on the um bigger blue one. But does it fit on the white one? doesn't really fit on the white one because the because how the sides curl in means that over here when it gets wider it doesn't fit and that's where they're supposed to fit so um maybe the company who made this should have checked if the little hat and the sleeping mask for the owls actually fit the owl But her hair is really pretty. And it's a really nice shade of blue. So, that's a bonus. And, um, she fits really well in the bed. Like, you could keep her in the bed without holding her. And she fits pretty nicely. And then when you put her in, the um, owls also fit in the bed, so they can all fit into the bed. I'm thinking about how to show you guys this. They can all fit into the bed at once. So, 
so I really like this. And from um, one of the rubber bands cutting, it didn't break, so we could put her hair up. When I have a doll with really pretty hair, one of the first things I do is put her hair up. There we go. So, if they were getting ready to, to go to bed, Maybe the first thing they would do is eat the cookies and drink the milk. But there are three people, one, two, three, four, five, six cookies, so they would each get two cookies. The cookies are almost in the shape of a flower, so that's cool. So they were sitting in the bed eating milk and cookies, and then they would probably start to get ready for bed. So, you can put the mask and the hat on. I just put the hat the wrong way. And then they would probably go to sleep. And her arms move a lot. They don't bend at the joints, but they move a lot. And her legs are pretty movable, too. Let's see what she looks like if we were to take the little coat or the little vest off and she looks like this but I like it better with the vest on so I'm gonna put that back on the funny thing is that it just looks like a circle <laughs> with a little bit of rubber bands on it but then when it's actually on her it looks like a vest <laughs> So, I really like this toy, and if I was rating it from 1 to 10, I would give it an 8.3. Because, um, it was really hard to get the hat off of the doll, and the little accessories for the owl don't actually fit the owl. But... Um, they all fit really nicely in the bed together, and this jacket, or this, this vest, <coughs> excuse me, um, I think it's really cool that it can come off, and also, they actually took the time to say, there are three characters, so how many cookies can we put, and they did the, um, perfect amount of milk bottles and also I just realized that the biggest one for the doll has a heart the second biggest one for the bigger blue owl has a star and the littlest one for the little white owl is a moon I want to name her Luna I'm naming this one Luna and this one star, because Luna means moon. I also really like how fuzzy the little hair is. And look, I can make her hair go really big or really small. And her name is gonna be like Olivia. Olivia Owl. Yep, that's going to be your name. This is Olivia. So, this is Luna. 
this is Star, and this is Olivia. My favorite person is Luna, even though she's not a person, she is an owl, but you know what, whatever. I actually named the owls based on what the bottles were, but since the doll is in, or since they're all owls, I named the doll Olivia. That's how I named them. So, she looks pretty with both her hair up or her hair down. And her hair is really soft. I wonder if we could do like a hairstyle on this. So, I rate this toy in 8.3. If you guys have this toy, make sure you guys make a video on it. And, um, you guys rate it. Or, you guys just comment down below. Um, make sure you remember to comment which lighting you like better. And, you should also comment down below what you rate this toy based on, like, what I said about it and what you've seen about it. So, I hope you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and and comment down below the things i said and make sure that when you subscribe you press the little bell right next to the subscribe button because if you do that you'll get notifications whenever i post another awesome video see you guys next time bye bye